In this video, I'm going to show you a tip on how to fix a potential problem in SharePoint with not being able to approve or decline site membership requests. The video was inspired by a post by Teresa Eller at the URL shown here. To demonstrate this problem, I have a SharePoint team site with a request for membership that is waiting approval. So I'll navigate to my site settings and for my site settings page, there's an option under users and permissions to access requests and invitations. I'll click that link and I can see that I've got a Wilbur Whipple that is waiting for approval request. If I click the open menu icon, this opens up a dialog and I can see that he's requesting access, but down in the bottom, the approve option is grayed out. I cannot approve his request. And what's more, if I click the decline, we see in the right hand side, I get briefly a message that pops up and it says it's failed to decline the request. So I can't approve and I can't decline. Now I can solve the problem or I can at least get the approve option to be selectable and not grayed out if I pick a group that I want to make them a member of or give them some sort of permission. So I have to select something in the drop down permission list. The real fix for this, or another fix for this that'll make it permanent where I won't have this problem again, is if I go back to my site settings, if I navigate to my people and group settings, and then with a group selected in the left hand side underneath the groups, I'll pick visitors. What I want to do is I want to use the settings menu and choose this as a default group. And I can make any group my default group, but I have to have a default group. So we'll make this the current default group. And by having a default group, if I go back to my site settings, back to my access requests and invitations, I can see that it doesn't help me with the, with the previous entry, the Wilbur Whipple. That's still grayed out. I still have to pick a group from the dropdown list to either approve or to decline. But I've got a new entry it was made after I've assigned a default group and that's Homer and if I look in that case uh, the group is already chosen that's what the default group does it chooses for me that default group in the permissions drop down list which then makes the approve and the decline uh, something that I can select if I select the decline it doesn't give me the error message that I got before it doesn't leave the request in there well, that's it for this presentation. Thanks again to Teresa Eller for the inspiration for this video. You can check out her blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to SharePoint.